ये वीडियो बेहद खास है इसलिए अंत तक जरूर देखिएगा क्योंकि यहाँ जो मिलने वाला है ना वो आई एन है वाई आई से आई एन इज बिकॉज आई एन स्टैंड फॉर इंडिया आई एन स्टैंड फॉर इंटरनेशनल एंड हेयर अविनिया द मिडल आई एन स्टैंड फॉर ग्लोबल रिकोगशन ऑफ ए कंपनी दैट इज डूइंग समथिंग रियली ग्रेट लीडिंग फ्रॉम द फ्रंट It's a Tata Motors, and we have Martin, the head designer. Oh. Just thank you, Martin. Thanks a lot Good for the time. You. <laughs> Same here. Uh, you know, first the first request that I wanted to make, mm. Martin, can I go and kiss the car? It <laughs> is looking so beautiful. I mean, we have been to so many global shows, motor shows. If this car was there, this would have been the showstopper, without any doubt. Absolutely. I mean, I uh, this is the the dream project for me, over my career, highlight of my career so far. and I'm super proud of what the design team achieved with this. I mean it's a it's a car that would have been the star of any motor show. That's my first question in that case Martin. How much time it took for your this dream from coming from here to here? Well, it was actually the fastest project that I've ever worked on. So I had a telephone call 8 months ago. Okay. From the from the bosses mm. they said what is our as a company vision for pure electrification? We did three weeks of sketching, brainstorming, and we presented essentially this design already as sketching, even with some basic data, with already the signature on the front with this design, this mm. this this philosophy. Three weeks after the first conversation, mm. and they said we love it. Let's do it all together, and then we started it. Three months after that, we had a full size model. Yeah. But everything else, the interior, we actually did it all digitally. We did the interior with virtual reality mm -hmm. because we didn't have time to make a model. And then we made this this physical prototype, which you see right here. So fastest thing, but actually very small team, very focused, and maybe that's the way. Some are not ready to believe that uh, <laughs> it take it took just that much of time. I I I I I can understand that uh, on a virtual format, uh, this is the time that you do. But please tell us, Martin, honestly, this baby was it in your mind somewhere? You know? No, um, I I I just outlined the brief uh, to the design teams. Right. And uh, to be honest, the design brief was the the group and the company principles. What does Tata Motors stand for? The humanity of the company. <laughs> uh improving people's quality of life wow. that's literally the brief and then they said oh it's an electric uh, platform let's move the what who, who what is the purpose of this is to get people from a to b so the people are inside so we make their journey better we make it more comfortable so martin we start with i and the interior so that's right because they are looking simple still unique and perfectly in sync with a person who want to travel with his family in comfort that's that's the right? exactly exactly right so the in is actually the usp of the car this car was designed interior first and actually that created the silhouette wow. and uh, you know the proportions are really dramatic you know it looks really long really sleek but actually it was all defined by making like you said more space more comfort so you feel like you're at home when you're sitting in the front the rear and it's any generation it's inclusive we designed it you know for ergonomics for comfort and also just to enjoy the ride and it as you said it's it's very pure as a design language but at the same time when you're doing it it can't look boring it can't look uh, you know um not exciting it has to still be emotional yeah. but but you know if you sit in it it looks really like a nice lounge and i am getting emotional and i'm getting really really uh, excited also there are so many different stuff that are the steering uh, and the most important thing there is no touch screen and every manufacturer is going out yeah so this is screen. Here this is, is something different that i see we've done a lot of analysis in terms of like the trends customer trends social trends we do actually have screens so there's a screen on the steering wheel for the driver and there's a screen at the base of the uh, windscreen which gives you like the information you know how fast you're going how much charge you have what's your range what song you're listening to who's calling what's the temperature all of that but you can see here we have what we call the sound bar so this will be a voice activated uh UX design thing and we think actually it's more intuitive and more uh more safe and to be honest with the screens we have enough screens in our lives so this actually you still have the information you can't get away from that but maybe it could be a little bit more enjoyable it's there the information but it's not in your face no uh, and i can see the effect of long wheel there oh, it's yeah. just fantastic uh and you're a tall guy Martin you mm. can't be a better person yeah, you know, so so if you see wow. if i sit in it 
Yeah. You know, for a 4.3 meter car, there is no 4.3 meter car that will give me this amount of leg room. I mean, this is literally two classes bigger in a, in a footprint, which is extremely small. Wow. So, uh, so this is 4.3. I'm getting a space something compared to an Harrier. Exactly. Exactly. We compared it to a Harrier in terms of uh, interior space. And this is a car that's uh, 300 mil shorter in terms of footprint, but it actually has that, that, uh, that space. Whenever we watch a concert, the first thing that you try to analyze what are those things that are going to come into the market yes to the production right uh so everything here is for us a target now oh, you know even the personalized yeah. events yes yeah, so so the vents you know that you can adjust you know and like on an airplane you know you you turn the dial and you you adjust your temperature and you turn it and it gives you your your personal you know zone of mm -hmm. climate control everything like that we now have a, a christmas shopping list mm -hmm. which we are now working with the engineering team and the whole car is actually you know a, a target for us we've already said this car is going in production in 2025 that's been from, right. and and yeah. that that is happening and now it's our objective not to disappoint and actually meet this i am really looking forward to driving this even the revolving uh... even even that even that every aspect we've got an, a team working design and engineering that is analyzing and seeing how can we do this i mean i'm going to come back to you martin and uh 2025 if all these things are coming uh, that we'll, we'll go through the list yeah, that, that, <laughs> we'll go through the list this, this is this is a important list that we have to write up even the height martin this is again going to be a question is the height going to be yeah so again we're we're looking at it the main target is to get the drama of this proportion, get the feeling of wow factor. So, but at the same time, you know, we want to make sure that the ergonomics are good. This is a car to be comfortable in, getting in and out and all that. So it's something that we're really, you know, pushing ourselves to, to achieve. Wow, fantastic. Uh, uh, the interiors are just mind blowing. And uh, I can see, and I am waiting to see all these things on our Indian road. No, 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 I'll correct myself, not on Indian road. I'm going to see them on the global map. We are going to see the same car globally because this IN stands for international also. And this Absolutely. is for mature market, not for the uh, second world countries, uh, developing market. This is going to be there in the US and the UK and the best of the best places that we can think of. This is going to make Tata Motors proud for sure. I, uh, I have never bought a, a car that I've worked on in my career. And I told myself this will be the first car that I worked on that will be in my garage. Wow. So that says that gives me the pressure. <laughs> yes, that, that gives you the pressure. Um, uh, uh, now, can we check out the exterior, Martin? Yeah. There are so many things. As uh, we can see, um, first of all, we have three things that I can see in this car. I can see a hatchback. I can see a yes. uh, MPV. I can see a little bit of uh, SUV also. If I that's right. There's a, there's some crossover SUV element. So first of all. We know that this car has to meet road conditions, so it has a 200 mil ride height, which is crossover SUV ride height from right. you know floor to sill. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we do have you know the cladding, the strong sill, this feeling of protection. Um, as you said, it has a little bit of MPV because of the windscreen being Ford. It's interior centric, mm -hmm. and then it's got a little bit of premium hatch as well. So it's a kind of fusion product. But nowadays, you, I don't think using the, the standard labels is the way if you offer customers something that has the function that gets the job done and looks great looks mm -hmm. beautiful mm -hmm. they will they will they will be attracted to it uh, uh Mandy, could you please take us through if you don't mind the new uh what i can see is not just an led state but this is going to be the new uh identity identity yes logo. so this is the identity that will will be for all gen 3 ev products right. from us so so this 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 line now Obviously, when you people see it, immediately recognizable where it comes from. At the same time, obviously, a wide line across the front and the rear makes the car look wider. And, uh, and at the same time, nowadays, you have the, the DRL is the kind of, you know, at night, you know which car it is, which company it is. Yeah. It becomes the signature. But we said, why don't you actually make the signature part of the, you know, the, the whole front face? So we're so kind of combining it together. And as soon as we saw it, we were like, wow, it looks great. And this is one of the most interesting part that I can see, you know, the way the glass. Oh, yes, yes. The full clean glass house, the roof has been made. Uh, 
Um, please don't mind if I ask even just as production possible. Yes, well, definitely the, the angle and the rake, we're not changing it at all. What we're now looking at, even from a feasibility, uh, we're looking at putting the glass on top of the pillar. So you avoid, you know, now the glass would end here and you would have, a, you know, a, a finisher. So we're looking at actually having it done like this. Okay. So that's all we're looking at. Uh, we are now, when we designed it, it does have a little bit of a nose because of pedestrian impact, front crash. Mm -hmm. So we have to achieve our targets and all that. Of course, we will have vipers, you know, on it. That's that's not here, but will be. So you can lose your imagination. And of course, you know, there will be a, a, a probably a small pillar here so you can drop the glass and so forth so you can imagine the sort of you know recognizable we're even looking at trying to make the, the side is clean so we have pop out um, door handles coming on the curve but for this one I'm looking at maybe there's something actually on this surface you know to hide it so the visual clutter is not there and things like that I mean uh... Manu, first of all, congratulations for this fantastic name, Avinia. And now uh, people will understand what innovation means because this is looking fantastic. And, and the way that you took us through the whole car, it seems uh, that uh, usually Tata Motors is 90% strike rate. This is only 100% strike rate. <laughs> and we are waiting to see this car 2025. Yes, that's right. And as as your personal car in your garage. That's right, and I hope in yours too. <laughs> Without any doubt. Congratulations once again, and thank you very much for the time. Thank, thank you. you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.